you very much. Yeah, we've uh, just appeared uh, before court on the matter of an off assembly when people came to apologize to me at my house. That aside, I just want to say that uh, I'm a politics non and looking after the poor people has become very interesting under the new Don government. As much as I appreciate the increase of the purchase of maize, floor price, floor price for maize by the FRA, from 108 kwacha per 50 kg back to 208 kwacha. Very good because the price of uh, fertilizer is very high. The price of seed is very high. The cost of uh, inputs and general production is very high. Very, very good idea. So that the, our farmers can now get value for their money. But for me, it is a very wrong way of doing things. What we should have done was to reduce the cost of fertilizer, reduce the cost of seed, reduce the cost of production, so that the farmers can maximize on the price at 180. Quote me correctly there. I'm not saying they should have not increased the price. Under the circumstances, that the fertilizer is at over 1,000, seed is expensive, and the fuel for farmers to till the land, electricity is expensive. That is an ideal situation. Now the danger is that the price of milli mill is going to be unaffordable for the poor people. If today the cost of maize is 108 kwacha per 50 kg, but millimill is costing at 250. When you increase the cost of maize from 180 to 280, the price of millimill is likely to move to 350 kwacha per 25 kg bag of millimill. Which person can afford even the salaries that teachers get, policemen, miners, they will not be able to afford the cost of millimill. If you're in there, like, I'm a politics hello, yeah, oh, I'm a. Because when you are making these decisions, you have to be thorough. You have to interrogate them. The most important thing in governance is to look at the poor people. How are the poor people going to survive? So in my view, the most ideal situation could have been to fight that the production of fertilizer is cheaper. The cost of seed is cheaper. We reduce on the cost of fuel for production. We reduce on electricity so that for argument's sake if a price of fertilizer dropped from 1000 to about 400 and you still maintain the price of of uh, maize at 180 the farmers will still have value for their money but this we are wait to see what the economist president is going to do because politics of appeasement should come to an end. We should look at the total holistic cost of production against the selling price. But what has happened is very, very interesting. And we shall see how they are. And I was, you know, Ramuavan to Shishiba, Navalanda, before Tavala Tontonga, Yavala Tontonga, and after Valanda. The chairman of the FRA was saying that to the fire much they increase price of millimeter because we are still giving you maize at 180 but the millers are going to start buying the maize at above 280 how do you expect them to continue giving you at the old price that is why i've said and i want to say it again leave politics to us politicians if you're a businessman go and do business and make profits put take a child them up profits is to balance the farmers must make money. The poor people must survive. That is governance. So we are yet to see what is going uh, to happen going forward on this new price of maize. But for the farmers, congratulations. At least you get a return from the 280. But I pity the poor people who are not going to 
afford. And it's not, not only Milimi, eh? Don't uh, put, don't take it only to Milimi. Even the chickens are going to be expensive. Mind you, chicken feed, animal feed for the cows is also manufactured from maize. Meaning, inama yala nino mtengo, inkoko shala nino mtengo, baba mnina ni abantu waka chita survive shani. By economist. I hope you will press conference. I 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 will press conference. I